I love it. I love the animal rights people. I love the I love the lunatic fringe of any special interest group. You know, I love. You know, I love. You know, they don't want you wearing fur. You know, don't wear fur. Don't wear fur. Don't wear fur. They don't care when you wear leather, really. Just fur. I'm guessing that's because it's much easier to harass a woman than it is a biker. And that would be my guess. Otherwise, why don't you run down to the biker bar and throw red paint on Warlock's collars and tell him his fashion choice is murder and watch your teeth become an endangered species and let's see how committed you are to your cause. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not undermining animal rights cause. Certainly the animals need us to look after them. I mean, hey, we have opposable thoughts and that's a huge responsibility. But I just, you know what gets me? I love the people who care more about neutering stray cats than they care about homeless American veterans. I love those people. When what they should be doing is neutering the homeless American veteran because they are much easier to catch. I read a statistic that really bothered me. You know, there's three times as many animal shelters in this country, three times as many animal shelters in this country than there are shelters for women of domestic violence. Three times as many. I'm just saying, next time you get angry, fellas, kick the cat, punch the dog, smack the canary around. There's plenty more facilities for the animals. I'm joking. It's a comedy show. I'm just making my point. I just hate it when people care more about animals than they do other people. We've become a very predatory culture. You can't even fire people today. You fire them, they come back and fire at you. You know what I mean? What, you, what is, what, you don't, you, you know what I mean? They, they, you let them go, they come back with an arsenal to make Charlton Heston jealous, and they shoot everybody who didn't say hi that one Tuesday back in 1999. Wipe out half your workforce. Well, you don't kill people when you get fired. You steal stuff. <laughs> you take staples, not lives. You grab all the manila envelopes you can carry and you walk out with your head held high. I didn't need this job anyway. It's not setting a good example, even in schools. If I gotta watch another story on CNN about high school kids killing other high school kids, well, I'm gonna kill somebody. <laughs> I wouldn't even want to be in school today because you gotta be good at math. I sucked at math, but if you're in school today, well, you better be good at math because your life depends on getting the equation right. So little Johnny comes in the cafeteria with an AK-47 that holds 17 shots, and he's already squeezed off six rounds and injured four people, and I'm 15 feet from the exit door. How fast do I have to run before little Johnny picks me up and pumps up a couple shots in my direction? Why? Why? Why would you do it? They're going to catch you. They'll get you. I watch the FBI case files, I watch the justice files, they're going to get you. No matter how brilliant your plan, they will get you. Things happen. You, you could be killing somebody in a pubic hair, could fall down your pant leg and land on a crime scene and CSI will show up and find that rascal and track it right back to your genitalia. With the technology they have, you could fart at the crime scene. And if they get there soon enough and bag that rascal up and send it down to the FBI lab and they take an air sample, they find out it's a Diet Coke, a cheeseburger, and a large fry from the hamburger shack down the street and they go in and they view the tape and there's your dumb ass eating a cheeseburger with a pubic hair hanging out your pants like, well they got you, they got you.